Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me on this video. My name is Britt and I'm just so excited to share with you guys a word today and it's found in Acts chapter three, verse two. But before we get to verse two, I wanna give you guys just some context of what's happening. See, Peter and John are headed into the temple and they've been publicly talking about Jesus and they're getting ready to heal this man that we hear of that is sitting at the temple gate. But in verse number two, it says that people were carrying this crippled man to the gate called Beautiful, where he was begging every single day. Now, I, I almost missed this. I actually almost skipped to the healing and totally missed this verse, but I don't want us to miss this verse. See, what happened is people were carrying him to beg. And I bet if I was the crippled man, I would be thanking the people that were carrying me to beg. I would think that these men were for me. I would think that they had my best interest in mind. I might even say something like, thank you so much for getting me here. I couldn't live without you. But there's something that's going to happen and this man will be healed. But I couldn't get my mind around this fact that maybe, I don't know if these guys were his friends, I don't know if they were family, but someone was carrying him to a place where he had to beg. Now. This might not be a who in our life, this might be a what. But I have to ask you a question. Is there someone or something that is carrying you to a place where you beg? That's not beneficial and it's not helpful and it's not kind and you're not being healed and you're not progressing but you're living the same day over and over and over again frustrated that you're not healing, that things aren't changing and friend, can I submit for consideration who or what is carrying you that is keeping you in bondage? See, this man had healing and it was available to him and Peter and John will come up on the scene and they will speak a word of life over him and he will be healed. But we must not miss this fact that it is so important for us to be cautious of who is carrying us and where they are leaving us. Are they leaving you in a place where you have to beg? Are they leaving you better? The truth is, is there's hope in Jesus and there's life in Jesus. And if that's not the message you've heard before, I just wanna tell you directly that God is good and he is for you and he does love you regardless of what you've done, regardless of what you've walked through, he is for you. And so the message of hope is for you, healing is for you. Friend, I don't know if that's depression. I don't know if that's anxiety. I don't know if it's an eating disorder or an addiction or alcoholism or family drama or toxic friendships. I don't know what that who or what is in your life, but this is what I know is if you allow them to continue to carry you and leave you in a place for begging, you will think that healing can never exist. So if you get nothing else from today, here's what I want you to know is that through Jesus, there is hope. Through Jesus, there is healing. And through Jesus, there really is a better way. Thanks so much for hanging out today, guys. I'll see you back next week.